Have Born Harbour cycles always seemed a bit overwhelming to you? If so, here's a shortcut that allows you to quickly calculate the lattice formation enthalpy without having to draw out the entire cycle. In an exam, you might be given a load of enthalpy changes and asked to calculate the missing lattice formation enthalpy. The easiest way to do this is to use the formula enthalpy of formation is equal to the sum of all of the other enthalpy changes involved in the born harbour cycle. To understand why this formula works and for a more in-depth explanation of born harbour cycles, check out my other video on this topic. I'll have a link in the description below. Now, let's take a look at sodium chloride as an example. The enthalpy of formation for sodium chloride is equal to the sum of the enthalpy of atomization for sodium, the enthalpy of atomization for chlorine, the first ionization energy for sodium, the first electron affinity for chlorine, and the lattice formation enthalpy for sodium chloride. With a bit of rearranging, we can calculate the lattice formation enthalpy for sodium chloride. Now let's take a look at the slightly trickier example of magnesium bromide. Just like before, the enthalpy of formation for magnesium bromide is equal to the sum of all of the other enthalpy changes involved. However, notice that we've had to double the enthalpy of atomization for bromine and the first electron affinity for bromine because there are not one but two bromine atoms in our magnesium bromide. Apart from that, it will be the same as before. With a bit of rearranging, we can calculate the lattice formation enthalpy for magnesium bromide. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to support the channel and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.